A new report today says home prices are rising faster than incomes here in Nashville. Home prices have gone up 8% since last year. Wages, though, have only increased by 2%. And joining us now to talk about this is realtor Jeff Checo. And Jeff, you probably work with people all the time looking for homes and have only an X amount of dollars in the budget to be able to buy those homes with. What is it like right now there on the market where you see this difference between wages and home prices? Well, I don't think it's all doom and gloom. As far as other major metropolitan areas, you look at New York City and San Francisco, they're in the $800,000 range for median household price. So here we're about 260, which just put us past the national average. Um, so it's not this real emergency situation, but there are some changes, 8% uh, over a year and only 2% wage increase is big. We've seen 75% increase over the last five or six years in housing from 140,000 to that 260,000, but we're still far below the national average. So this is the price of being in a, in a big happening city like Nashville now. Has it really seemed to impact the rate of homes that are bought or sold here in the Nashville area? Well, we just, it just came out that we just dipped under 100 new citizens per day to about 94. That's still a huge number. Uh, the market's still very strong, very much a seller's market. Um, so in my opinion, you know, you see some seasonal slowdown naturally, but in general, no, I really haven't seen a drop off. Okay, wow. What is some of your advice for people who may be in the market to buy a home um, and, and they're facing these increasing home prices and they're afraid that maybe they can't save enough money fast enough to keep up with that inflation? Well, um, we're fortunate here in Nashville. We've got a lot of green space. We've got a lot of suburban areas that are developing. So while the urban corridor, there are challenges we have to overcome. Uh, the mayor's office has over $50 million that they need to decide where to allocate. The, the 12th and Wedgwood project that just broke ground is a, is a good first step towards that. But I do think they need to start putting one foot in front of the other and actually doing something with those resources. Um, but in general, I, I would say that it's, it's a situation where the houses are there. You've just got to decide what you're going to do in terms of your own budget. There are resources out there. You've got THDA, you've got USDA, lots of options for people to go into these houses with little or no down. Yeah, I know uh, one of the things that you think of oftentimes is going further out to afford more bang for your buck, basically. Mm -hmm. You throw a pond and a lake and it kind of has a ripple effect and you just basically go out ripple by ripple mm -hmm. according to where you can afford. Mm -hmm. So ha have you noticed any booming hot spots maybe in some of those outer ripples? Oh, goodness, absolutely. Um, Everything kind of, uh, there's a saying in Nashville, if you think it's not close today, just wait, it's going to get closer to Nashville every day. Right. So the Spring Hill market has really bled into uh, Murray County. Mm -hmm. uh, you see uh, up north, you see Sumner County. Hendersonville has really fed Gallatin for a lot of growth. Mm -hmm. uh, places west in Williamson County like Fairview, east of Mount Juliet in Lebanon. So lots of emerging markets that people can really still get into housing below that national average cost of living, that median household price. Yeah, I've really noticed a lot more talk lately about the Mount Juliet area in particular. They've got so much boom there, whether it be residential, commercial. Um, any advice that you would have for people who may be looking right now, who want to buy now, but are maybe afraid to wait one more year so they can save enough money? Well, it's foolish, really. Uh, interest rates are doing what they were projected to do. No one has a crystal ball, but they have gone up considerably in the last six months. That, of course, corresponds, especially for first-time home buyers, to a, to a monthly payment. Um, with our company, the Ashton Real Estate Group of REMAX Advantage, we've got experienced agents that can prepare you from a financing standpoint, also a contractual standpoint, to, to have an advantage when it comes to the home buying process. Our website is very dynamic, NashvilleRealEstate.com, where you can go and you can actually see properties that are coming soon. Just little things like that in addition to uh, the negotiating process. There's right. lots of little, little tricks to that trade when it comes to like things like escalation clauses, um, other things, you, ways you can structure your contract to give you an advantage yeah. when there's sometimes 8, 10, 12 offers you're competing against. So really get a great realtor. Obviously, I'm an advocate. For that, so. <laughs> there you go. And mm -hmm. Jeff Checo, a greater real estate, uh, greater Nashville real estate agent here. We appreciate you joining us today. Thank you, Thank so you for your insight.